Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we'll discuss about station to station key agreement algorithm. In our previous classes, we already discussed about Diffie-Hellman key agreement and the attacks that are possible on Diffie-Hellman. So what we have discussed in our previous classes, we discussed that suppose if A and B wants to exchange the key, A is going to generate R1 G power X mod P. It is R1 is sent over the internet. Similarly, B is going to generate R2 that is G power Y mod P. This is sent over the internet. The attacker in the middle, he is taking both the values. Instead of sending this R2 to R1 and R1 to R2, he is sending G power Z mod P. R3 value is sent to both the sides. Means he is taking power of both the keys, both the values R1 and R2 because these are generating new key values that related to the attacker. So this is what man in the middle attack means. See what's missing here, the, the value that came from, in, see R2 has to come to A. Instead of R2, attacker is sending R3 value is sending to A. He don't know whether this came from attacker or this came from the B value, B from B from where it got means the identity is missing whether the value R3 or R2 value that came from B or not that identity is missing so we need to provide that identity that is what happens in station to station key agreement here we are going to use the digital signature concept also let's try to understand what happens inside this station to station key agreement we, we are going to overcome this man in the middle attack problem suppose a b wants to exchange the day. key they, a is going to generate r1 is equal to g power x mod p so r1 is sent over the internet when it reached b see what b is doing because it got r1 r2 is equal to g power y mod p it is generating r2 because it got r1 it can generate the key value also k is equal to r power r1 power y mod p because it got r1 it is generating key now what it is going to send to a let's try to understand see using this key it is taking it as a yes id because it has to send r2 value to a that's why it is sending yes id concatenate with the r1 value concatenate with the R2 value, this entire thing is going to be get a signature using B's private key. B is having one private key and it is generating a signature on A, R1, R2 value. This entire signature is going to be encrypted with key, this K value key. See how much security here we are providing identity because this bill this signature this is signed by B this a signature is encrypted with K this K value key value so along with this it is going to send R2 value and B certificate what is this B certificate means see the point you need to understand we are we have not yet discussed about B certificate problem in our previous classes what is meant by this certificate means so in simple ways we are going to explain it b certificate means c a b has done signature on this value using his private key whether he has to verify a has to verify this signature using b's public key if public key is provided open over the internet Attackers can do that, attack that. So instead of sending the public key over the internet, they are sending using certificate. This certificate is pro provided by government certificates. Means inside this certificate, B's public key is there. This B certificate is reaching to A. A can download this certificate from this certificate, it can decrypt the public key. 
using the government provided key so anyhow in simple ways you need to understand because this is not in our syllabus we are not going into what's this certificate concept in this b certificate we are having public key of b that can be downloaded by a using government provided key by taking the public key and r2 value it can verify the signature and by getting this he can generate the key value key value from this key value he can the encrypted value can be decrypted and he can verify the signature using the public key once verify b signature what he is going to send again the authentication that a have a had received the value and you to do the confirmation that this is coming from a so b has to had to the taken that confirmation again so that's why a certificate means in this certificate yes public key is there that can be downloaded and the public key can be downloaded by using government provided key b can do that so a certificate is sent and along with that signature on b's id r1 r2 value using signature a's private key this signature can be verified using public key provided in this certificate and this entire signature value is encrypted by using key this key is known to this person so now verify a signature both side verified the signatures because this signature using public keys so this is how it is providing the authentication that this the messages has come from a the message has come from b by using that authentication this man in the middle attack can be overcome hope you understand how the, we are going to overcome this man in the middle attack by using station to station key agreement if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you